Do you hear that woodpecker? It's loud as hell. It's bright as shit out here today too. Hello, you guys. I'm back with another review on the Evenflow 360 Gold Revolve. This time I'm going to review the Slim. I am a huge fan of the Evenflow Revolve 360. I've loved it since I bought it. I did a review and I'll put like a card here if you are interested in the Evenflow Revolve 360. I did have a larger SUV at that time, like a mid size SUV, and I have since downsized my vehicle. And I even said in that video, like if you have a smaller car, this might not be the seat for you. And I, I would have made it work because I love the car seat so much. I would have made it work except for the base was rubbing on the door of my car. I was afraid it was gonna damage my new car's door permanently. So I tried putting it in the middle and then it just kind of like encroached on all of the seats and I have three kids in the back sometimes. So I literally just learned that there was an even flow revolve slim. So I rushed out. Hey, yo, I got it, super excited. The base of this one is like 16 inches. The base of the one I have is 19 inches. So I'm pretty sure that's gonna give me exactly what I need to not rub against my door. But I'm gonna install them both in the car and just kind of compare the two and see if there's any other significant differences other than just the width, which honestly, I'm just looking for the width. But for anybody else out there deciding which one they want, Hopefully this helps them. I printed out a little chart to see what the actual differences were between the two car seats, other than the obvious slimness. The only things I see that are different are the price. So the slim is 349, the original Revolve is 399. I don't know what the price difference is there. I don't know why they're different. So the slim has something called easy slide and the original Revolve has something called quick connector. I don't know what that is. So we're gonna find out. Let's bust this thing out. These bitches are heavy. Here are the two seats side by side. As you can see, this one is very much wider across the top and the base is so much smaller. So, so, so much smaller. Let's see it without the seats real quick. Yeah, okay. So you can see that this is significantly more low profile, a touch shorter, about the same height, but it's this is the part that was rubbing on the door of my car. Um, and also it's filthy. <laughs> this already looks a lot smaller. Other than that, everything looks exactly the same. This might just be a touch deeper. This looks like it might be raised up just a hair. This one I think is like 29 pounds. This one feels just a little bit lighter, but like barely. Not that you're usually carrying these around by any means. This appears to be maybe an inch taller and I believe it said it was like an inch taller, like 26 inches tall versus 25 inches tall. Uh, and this actually has 15 positions and height, and this one has 14 positions in height. Is my neighbor probably laughing at me? I'm gonna rip this off. This is all the baby stuff that I don't need because I don't have a baby. My kid's three, but I love this car seat so much. I love that if we're going on a long drive, I can turn it around and he can rear face um, and sleep. Um, on a long car ride, or if he just falls asleep, we can rear face him to comfortably sleep. And obviously, just being able to put your kid in straight into the car instead of banging their head trying to get them in the old fashioned way. Which I did with my other two. All right, I'm gonna put them in the car and see what they look like in the car. Okay, so as I was situating, I noticed a couple things which are so funny because they're things that I had pointed out in my original video that they've since changed, which is great. You know, obviously, even Flo was like listening to consumer feedback. So the first thing I noticed is that. <laughs> These um, little shoulder pads are completely removable on this model, which is funny because the other ones were stationary, but now these like slide up and down. So you could probably remove the whole thing for washing, which is good. On the original one, these were stationary and only like a cover came off, but um, these come completely off. The other thing I noticed was the crotch strap comes with this like buckle cover thing, which I didn't have a problem with the crotch strap to begin with. The thing that I did have 
uh, not a problem, but like there was a point in time where my son removed the cup holders of the original and would chuck them across the car. These now have a release button to remove this. This is actually the cup holder. So I just thought that was kind of funny. None of them, in my opinion, are game changers. As far as I know, maybe the new 360s that they're manufacturing actually have these updates. I have no clue. Um, just my model didn't, so. These are the old school latch things. And this is the slim. It doesn't matter because I'm not gonna use this anyway. I'm gonna use the seatbelt method. These are a pain in the ass, honestly. Boom! The old seat has the kind you just like push a button and I'll show you that in a second. They're way nicer. Um, yeah, these are super annoying, but maybe that's why it's $20 cheaper, I don't know. The old style here has this kind where you pull this and it unlatches and you have this little doodad. Bottom line, it fits in the vehicle the same as the other one. It's just as tall, so you're not really saving any uh, distance when you turn it around or when you spin it. It's definitely slimmer. It definitely doesn't encroach as much on the middle seat. If you're trying to see, sit three kids across or even uh, more than one car seat across the back, it's definitely gonna save you a lot of space. Like I said, here was like this white spot right here was where this word was like rubbing against here and it was all indented and now i can stick my whole hand in between when the door is shut so it was a win for me i don't see why you wouldn't just buy the slim um even if you were looking you, do, you know you had the space and you didn't really need the bigger size um except for the latch if you plan on using the latch which they don't really recommend anyway. They recommend using the seatbelt because then you never have to take the base off. If you use the seatbelt, you can rear face and forward face and you never have to take the base off. If you use the latch, you can only use the latch uh, rear facing and then you'll have to reconfigure it when you decide to forward face. So final thoughts between the two, unless you have a large SUV, only one kid, or you're planning on getting the extended 360, I would just buy the slim because it has everything that the 360 has, minus the convenience of the latch system being the manual style instead of like that automated style. But the Slim is gonna give you all the features of the original 360, plus a couple new aspects like removing the shoulder straps, the cup holders being locked in, and you get a 15 height instead of a 14 height. But unless you're looking to rear face for that up, you know, I think it's like, I don't know what the extended was, whatever the extend, gets you like maybe 10 more pounds or something rear facing, then I would I would go the slim because it just is, the base is just so much smaller. It's just a much lower profile seat um, and the encroachment onto any seats next to it is so much more minimal. I think it was like four inches. So it's a big deal for me in my car, in my situation now. It didn't really matter to be in my old car because my seats were so big. So it's really up to you. I would say both are five stars. I, really love the seat. I wish I had it when my other two kids were little. It is just one of the best car seats. I am not paid by even flow to say this. I do have an affiliate link because I, I love them so much. I emailed them and was like, Hey, I'm going to make videos um, about your car seat because I love it anyway. So do you have an affiliate link? And there's a link below. If you want to buy one, I think I'll get like some small like commission, but it doesn't affect your price anyway. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to drop a message below. And again, this wasn't like a tutorial. I do have like a full review of the 360. I will link that below as well. And if you have any questions, thanks for watching. Bye.